you're seeing here is an improbable dream. This is arena stage at the Mead Center for American Theater. This has been 11 years in the making, and now you're seeing us in the midst of construction for what will be one of the most beautiful theaters in the United States. What I'm standing in right now is a huge shared community lobby. Imagine people pouring out from our proscenium house, from the Fitch Handler, which is our theater in the round, and from the Kogod Cradle, our new theater space. Perhaps one person is seeing a play by an American giant, and another group of people are seeing the reinvention of a classic American musical. And in the Kogod Cradle, perhaps a brand new play that has just been birthed on our stages. And in this space, audiences can get together to talk, to argue, to get into fights about what they've just seen on stage, because that's part of the whole idea behind becoming a home for American writers and American artists, all under one beautiful roof, with the light spilling in from the waterfront. It's very exciting to be in this space. It has a nexus of energy within it, and that's the kind of energy that flows from the theaters into the people and pushes us then both into some of the most interesting conversations and then we go out on the streets back into our homes. The development work of Arena Stage will happen in this theater space, which is in the midst of development as of this moment. This theater is the Arlene and Robert Kogod Cradle. And what's exciting about this space is it will be for premieres of new work, it will be for second and third productions because I believe that plays and musicals don't often come into their own until the second or third time that they're presented in front of an audience. We also will be having a number of programs that include our new play institute, our program with the National Endowment for the Arts, which is about new American work from around the country, and Theater 101, which is an audience program that will help audiences understand and follow the tracks of new work from the very, very beginning, from casting, all the way through the development and opening night. We want to build fans for the American theater. This theater space is also at a cradle risk. For example, if an artist is really interested in doing a radical re-envisioning of an Arthur Miller play, it might happen in this smaller but complete theater space. We've been performing in the Krieger Theater since 1971. It's an almost perfect space in its relationship between the audience and actor. And many times what we're looking at as we move into our new center is the presentation of new American work from around the country, some, from some of the best theater companies and most distinctive regional voices that we have around the entire United States. And when the center is really up and running, we want to be presenting three to five projects a year. This includes our visiting companies initiative and also local visiting companies initiative because Washington DC has a huge number of excellent theater groups from around the Washington DC area that we want an opportunity to showcase here at Arena as well as the best and the brightest from around the country. In the study of American theater at Arena Stage, we're a rare bird. There's no other theater in the United States that's operating in quite the way that we are. Because of our focus on the production, presentation, development, and study of American theater, we're both a theater and a university. We're a theater and a research and development center. After each one of our productions, we'll have talkbacks and think tanks around productions. We'll have convenings, we'll have symposia based on issues that are really important to the entire field. And our field now is 1,900 theaters strong. We'll have web-based content, which we already have. If you take a look at www.arenastage.org, you'll see blogs, you'll see research journals, you'll see commissioned articles. It's extremely exciting. And one of our most important programs is the Alan Lee Hughes Fellowship and Internship Program which is the only program in the country for people of color in the theater. We're training between 10 and 20 young people a year to go into the field as producers, as administrators, as directors, as designers. And this kind of program is important for the richness of Arena Stage because diversity 
is one of our core values. This is an improbable dream because there were many times within it where we didn't know if we were going to be able to make this new center happen. But because of the work of countless donors, patrons, our staff, and our board, we're able to make this building the reality that it is today. Okay, now it's time to say thank you to a few folks that have made this project possible, starting with Gil and Jaylee Mead, namesake for the, for the entire complex, and also Arlene and Bob Kogod, the Kogod Cradle, who is just, just behind us here. Um, listen, you've seen the building. I think you can really appreciate how wonderful it is. What do we need now? We actually need more leaders like, like the Meads and the Kogods to take an interest come down and take a look at the building and see how they may want to have themselves remembered with the legacy gift. And after we get that all done, we're always going to need your support in our annual fund. We need to find 40 cents on every dollar that we spend on a new program or a new show here each year. So there are lots of ways that you can be involved beyond just attending our shows. You can be involved as someone in the community who really thinks this place is special, necessary, and needs your support. Wonderful buildings like this don't happen overnight. This has been 10 years in the making, and every one of those years and every one of those hours and every one of those seconds has really paid off. You're going to love this place, so come down to Arena Stage at the Mead Center for American Theatre. Thank you.